Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about compound interest as it pertains to uh, exponential functions. There's two formulas that you need to know. The first one uh, is having n compounds per year. So it would be, you know, compounded quarterly, compounded monthly, those kinds of things. And that's going to tell you the number of compounds. So n compounds per year. So if it's daily or if it's monthly, weekly, whatever. And that formula is going to look like this. It's going to be uh, A, your amount that you have at the end, is equal to your principal times 1 plus R over N to the NT. And A is the amount at the end that you end up with. P is the principal. Okay, uh, rate is the percent as a decimal, and t is time. So, for example, if it's five years and it's uh, compounded monthly, so it'd be five years times twelve would be sixty would be the number that goes up here. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one is this: compounded continuously. Compounded continuously. That would mean there's not a certain number, but it's just continuing to be compounded upon itself. And in that case, A is equal to P times E raised to the RT. Okay, and rate, again, is as a decimal. T is time. E is the number E that we've been talking about, that natural base. And then P is still our principal. So let's look at a couple of examples here. So let's look at example one. What we're going to look at here is um, using those formulas to try to figure out what I'm going to make and how much I'm going to end up with total. So a total of 12,000, so that's going to be my P, because that's what's invested, at an annual interest rate of 9%. Written as a decimal, that would be 0 0.09. Just laying out all my pieces. Find the balance after five years, that's T, if it's compounded, and then they give us these stipulations. Well. Quarterly means n equals 4. And so what I'm looking at is, I'm looking at how do I put all these things together into an equation. So I'm going to start with my equation, a equals. And because it's not continuously, I know that I'm just going to lay out my n compounds per year formula, plus r over n to the nt. And I've got all my pieces, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug. I don't know a, that's what I'm trying to find out, my amount. So I'll do 12,000 times 1 plus 0 0.09 over n is 4, raised to the n times t, and it's 5. So quarterly means 4 times per year, 5 years is 20. So 12,000, 1 plus 0 0.9 over 4 to the 20th power. When I put this into my calculator, you want to do that 1 plus 0 0.09 over 4 first. And what I'm going to end up with is 18,726.11, which is 11 cents. Okay, so that's what I'm going to end up with. And what you're going to see is the more times you compound, the more interest you have. Monthly, that would mean n is equal to 12. Okay, let's do a continue. So it would be much like this one, except with 12 here instead of 4 and 12 here instead of 4. Continuously. Different formula. A equals PE to the RT. So if I plug it in, 12,000 is still my principal. And E raised to the now rate is as a decimal, 0 0.09 times time is 5. And so what I'm looking at here is just plugging that into my calculator. And when I plug that into my calculator, I'm going to come out with 18,000, $819.75. We can see that's decidedly more than over here when I had $18,726. Now you might say, oh, well, decidedly is not that much more, but think about that over the course of years, you know, that adds up to a lot of money. And especially if we are investing more, we're going to end up with more in the end. All right, so that's how that formula works, determining your P 
R, T, and your N, and then you're plugging it into your formula. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.